I was talking to this one person earlier and I was telling this person, the closer you want to get with God, the more things that you have to give up. One of many reasons why some people are not able to get as close to God as they should is because they don't want to give up things. They don't want to give up the enjoyments of their life. This is one of many reasons why people continue to sin because they are not willing to sacrifice. Let's go to Matthew chapter 16, verse 24. To the left is the King James Version to the right is the expanded Bible. Then said Jesus unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself, and take up his cross, and follow me. So, what does this mean here? Then said Jesus unto his disciples, If any man or woman will come after me, let him deny himself or herself. So what does it mean by let him or her deny himself or herself? Giving up anything that is separating you from God. A person may say, hey, I really enjoy watching pornography. Well, in order to follow God, you have to give that up. Hey, I love watching random movies and television shows all day long to the point where I don't have time to pray or read the Bible. You have to give up those things. And a person may say, well, don't you think that is a bit extreme? Look, you have been doing the things that you have been doing. And have things changed for you yet? No. So if you are not able to follow God in a proper way now, and you are doing things in your own way, why continue to do it when you know that it is not working for you? Think about that. So obviously, you have to try something new. You can't continue to do the same things and expect a different result. That is crazy. Deny yourself. Letting go of things, even when they are not sinful. Denying those things. Doing things like reading your Bible, praying, fasting, in order to get closer to God. This is denying yourself. People are not willing to deny themselves. This is your issue. We say that we want to operate more in the power of God. We say that we want to feel his presence and stuff like that, but we are not, or many people are not willing to deny themselves. That is an issue. Okay. Then said Jesus unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross. What does it mean by and take up his cross? 
So now that you have denied yourself, now you are beginning to give God more of your time. You are beginning to obey God. So we know, or you should know, or I am telling you now, when you begin to follow God, people are not going to like you. Why? Because you are different from them now. If you come around people that are in sin and you are following God, they are not going to like you. If you go around and tell people that they need to stop sinning and stuff like that, people are not going to like you. So, and take up his cross mean, be willing to be persecuted for the sake of God. Be willing, ultimately, to die for Jesus Christ. Be willing to take the sufferings for following Jesus Christ because you are going to suffer for the sake of Jesus Christ if you choose to serve him. That is a guarantee. Because if most of the world are in sin and a small percentage of people are actually serving God, <laughs> think about it. And we see how, how much people hate God, right? So if they crucified Jesus Christ, even when he did nothing wrong, and you are coming in the name of Jesus Christ, what do you believe people are going to do to you when they did so much bad things to him? You can't possibly believe that you are not going to go through any pain when you begin to serve Jesus Christ. You have to take up your cross. So first, you have to deny yourself. Now, take up your cross, then follow him. I don't know why some people believe that serving God is an easy task. It is not, by far. It is much easier than being cursed by God because you are disobedient. Now, that is much more difficult there, sinning and being cursed by God. But even still, when you serve God, things are going to be difficult for you. You are going to be persecuted. You may even die or be killed because of doing right by God and trying to teach others about God. So we have to be ready for that. So we have to take up our cross and deny ourselves. This is the only way. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless.